Now we're going to take a look at an in-depth setup. First of all, under your assets, locate the main menu, which is the menu scene right here. Just double click on it to open it. Now go to the plugins and look for the Google Analytics and drag and drop your prefab inside of your game, right? And make sure that you have your settings here. If you do not see your settings, that means that you forgot to click on apply in the previous view, okay? So make sure you apply whenever you add your tracking code and iOS code. All right, next thing you wanna do is um, that whenever we interact with this menu, we want to track everything. So if we press the, the play button or the sound or the uh, remove ads or any of these, we want to be able to track what's happening. So we want to know if the user ever clicks on the rate the game button or why not and try to modify this so that people will be more uh, enticed to click on these buttons. All right, having said that, what you want to do is select the, a script or create a new script so that you can start coding. Now, it just happens that the menu comes with a script and it will be very rare that you have a game and a level that has no scripts. So every time you want to get to interact or get the analytics of a specific game object, you need to add the analytics um, object to it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, in, the, in this uh, folder here under the hierarchy, you have the UI manager. And as it says, it's the user interface manager and it contains all the logic or code logic that controls this game. And if you look in the inspector, you will see the UI manager script. So I want you to double click on this. Now, it's always a good habit to have a script that controls all the actions or all the actions that are under the same object or game object. So I want you to double click on it to open it with mono develop or whichever user uh, um, interface development environment you have on your machine. Some of you may be using uh, Visual Studio or Sublime Text. All right, now that we have this one open, just know that we have a lot of different um, methods here that are uh, triggered from the code. As you can see here, you have the start game. So whenever somebody clicks on the start game, is sound on, then turn sound on. So all of these are um, menu items that are being clicked, remove ads, more apps, and so on. So if you want to put some action for Google Analytics, this is where you want them to be. So whenever somebody clicks on remove ads, you want to send and uh, you, want to you want to communicate with Google Analytics saying that, hey, somebody clicked on the button remove ads, all right? And uh, let's say for the turn sound on, same thing, you want to send a message saying, hey, somebody clicked on turn the sound on or turn the sound off and so on. All right, having said that, now we're going to get to actually code and add the Google Analytics to this script. That's what we're going to be doing in the next lecture.